Good morning, good morning. It is May 22nd. Good grief, this year's flying by, is it not? Wednesday morning. Whew. Wonderful Wednesday. I hope you're going to have a wonderful Wednesday. I plan on it. Hold on, i got to get my, my collagen in. I'm running a little bit behind today because Mark has been working night shift. Which it always throws me off. I don't know. I used to say I could roll with the punches, but I don't think I roll with them very well because I'm used to when he's home at night, it's much better. He does go out a lot. Or he works night shifts, so that always just kind of messes me up. So I got to figure that out <coughs> one day. I may learn how to deal with that. I don't know, but I'm um, still going to have a wonderful Wednesday or a wisdom Wednesday. I haven't decided which one that's going to be, but I'm seeking wisdom every day from the Lord. And that's true wisdom. That's the true, true grace and, and healing in us all, I believe. So I we actually I posted Ephesians 2 8 this morning. It is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. That's Ephesians 2 8 through 9. A devotional, there's this gentleman, they did a quote from Eugene Gladstone O'Neill. Never heard of him, but it's so amazing. I don't know, it just made me kind of, yeah. It says it all. Man is born broken. He lives by mending. The grace of God is glue. Thankfully, I've been being glued together by God and getting his grace, which is um, so thankful. We did, I did my Tuesday walking with my ladies yesterday, which is, I look forward to that every Tuesday, actually all week. It's a chance for me to get out and walk and talk with each of these ladies a little bit more and get to know them and see how amazing they are. We've got one lady, Tammy, and she's been through cancer. She's had some issues and I've just been praying for her. She's so much. She's got the most positive demeanor. She has the friendliest smile. She just brings so much joy. Just talking to her, she's just a joy to, to talk to. And her family, they're wonderful. I got to talk to her a little bit and Tina and Cheryl and Angela, Sharon and a new lady, Susan. So there was a new lady I got to meet today, which was or yesterday. That was awesome. But that was, that's so good. I really look forward to that during my week to get that chance to spend some time moving my body and moving my mind and talking to people that are living in God's word. I didn't for a long time. I've, I, I accepted Jesus, but was not always walking the right road for a long time. Thought that I was doing okay, you know, went to church on Sundays. But I know that as I'm learning more and more, there's more to it than that. And I definitely want to be of his mind and be in alignment with him. I'm trying to stay focused on that, which is what I was talking my topic. Sometimes the days get so busy. They get so insane. And getting the opportunity to get into my Bible and to really study, I could probably read that thing all day long and learn more and more every time. Listen to more teachers on it, but that's not going to pay the bills. So I have to get things done. But I sometimes allow that those things to take me away from it and to not get into my Bible and get into my studies. And it's very... It can be very frustrating. So need to have some goals. And my goals is just, my goals are, is, I have one, one big goal, but my goals are multiple. And one of them is definitely to stay in alignment with God and stay focused on His Word. And to be refined more and to listen to His discipline. To know when to stop being certain ways that I think as we get older, well, that's just the way I am. no. That's the way you choose to be. Everything that we do is the way that we choose to be. So choose to be the right way. And that's what I'm doing. So I've been been disciplined by him a little bit and brought to light how I still am working on things. As my friend April would say, I'm trying to fix my face, which I think my face has been fixed a little bit. I've had a few revelations on dealing with frustration. That's one of my biggest things. So I am staying focused. I have my goals written down. I'm eating healthier. I'm on a new plan that has, at this point, I've lost nine full pounds. And it's amazing, which I was having, I was not eating right. And this plan I like, it's really getting me into habits that I, that make me able to do the things I do. My jeans were getting tight. And like I said, I think the other, yesterday maybe, that they were getting tight and I was already in a size that I didn't like. My t-shirt, I'm getting this little bulge here that I don't like. My arms are getting a little larger than I like. And I see all these things. I want to be comfortable. I want to be, I want to feel good about myself. I'm not worried about going out in a bikini or wearing short shorts or any of those things, but I definitely want to feel comfortable in my own skin. So I'm working, I'm staying focused on that. And I've been eating a lot better and I have so much more energy. I already take my activators, which I, I believe those have kept me going a long time. We've got cancer in our family. 
multiple issues that I've never had to experience, and I'm, I'm fairly certain that's from the products that I take. But my eating habits have been not the best, and my nutrition, trying to incorporate protein or whatever I've been trying to do, has just been off whack. So it's great to have support, people that are helping me to look forward to my goals and to take certain steps to do that. And it is achievable, and I can already tell my face is starting to get a little thinner. Of course, that's not the places that I necessarily want to lose it, but that's usually the place that I, I lose it first. Anyway, I've got my clear goals. I've got me some to-do lists. I need to revamp those, actually, to... you got to review your stuff occasionally, too, and look at what you've done and where you're going and not stay stuck in a position, which is where I, I tend to get because I'm not a friend of change, or change is not a friend of me, but I've got me some to-do list. I've already started to eliminate my distractions. I've got my little, myself a little area where I go when I need to do things. I'm trying to stay a little bit more organized and taking regular breaks is very important when you're staying focused because sometimes you can, it just can get to be too much and that's where I'm trying to work on is to take a break because some days I can feel really tired just because so much is going on, so much is going on, but I'm getting better with that too. I've been exercising regularly, staying hydrated. That's been one of my big things that I've been doing the last week. I've been drinking at least, I'd say 64 ounces, but I think probably around 80 something ounces and some days 100 ounces, which has been amazing. And get enough sleep. I don't ever have a problem with that. I go to bed usually by nine, up at five, eight hours. I sleep great. I'm, I'm, that's not, I've never had a sleep problem, so that's pro perfect. Stay focused on your goals. Set your goals and evaluate them, reevaluate them, get some motivation, have some people that support you in this, have some people that are on your team with you towards these goals that are really, that are there to call you out on it, not in a bad way, or to cheer you on when you're doing the things that you should be doing. But I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. I plan on kicking its butt again, and I will talk to you soon. I love you. God loves you. Have a great day.